this video, we are going to take a look at how to create an event in your calendar. Go to your calendar from the link in the top menu. To add an event to the calendar, click on the day in which you would like to create the event. You can choose to add an event or task. Simply enter the details and click Create Event or Create Task. If you are creating an event, you might like to click Edit Event to have more advanced options. First, you will need to give your event a title. Next, choose when the event will take place. By clicking on the Select Date button, you will be able to see a calendar view of other events in your personal calendar and school-wide events you have permission to see that may be occurring at the same time as the event you are creating. Once you are happy with the date and time, click Update. You can set the event to repeat by clicking on Recurrence. This will give you drop-down options to repeat the event daily, weekly, fortnightly or monthly. Then, choose what type of event it is. Choose a location for your event. Add the details for the calendar event. If you don't have any, this can be left blank. You also have the ability to set a publish date, which means the event will not show in the calendar until the publish date has been reached. In the level field, different users will see different things. All users will see the personal level. This is a level to add an event that is just on your calendar. This might be something like a meeting, a music lesson, or something you need to remember. Users will have the group level if they are in charge of a group or are a teacher of a class. You will learn more about groups in future units. Clicking on group will prompt you to choose which group or class you'd like to add this event to. Remembering that all users in the group will have this event added to their calendar. The final level that exists is a campus level. Only users that have permission to edit the school calendar will have this level. If you need this level and don't have it, you can speak to your IT team. Generally, only a few people in each school have access to edit the school calendar. If you are adding an event at a campus level, you will then be prompted to choose which role the calendar event is relevant to. You will also need to select a campus. When creating group or campus events, you have the option to enable attendance. If you enable attendance, users have the option of accepting or declining your calendar event. When you are happy with your event, click Add Event. You can always come back and edit this at any stage by clicking on it and clicking Modify. You can also delete your event by clicking Delete. If you have enabled attendance, people that are invited to the event can click on it in their calendar and click RSVP at any time. If they can no longer attend the event, they can click Unattend. As the creator of the calendar event, you can click on the event and see who is coming by clicking on the Attendees button. To reject or approve people attending your event, click on the box next to their name and click either Approve Selected or Reject Selected. You can also delete users from the calendar event by clicking on the bin icon to the right of their name. 
You will then have a list of all the users attending the event, with the option to export this and download it to your computer. You can do this by clicking on Export to CSV 